Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And hello My name is Wan Omar Hazim bin Wa'ala Virus And today I will talk about our 3D modeling project But before that let me introduce our group members which is Abdul Rashdan bin Abdul Aziz Muhammad Shafiq bin Suhaimi Muhammad Hafizur Daniel bin Azmi and lastly Lukman Hakim bin Nur Hisham Ok, next Ok, our group has chosen an ACDC power supply as our 3D modeling. So, firstly, I will talk about introduction. An ACDC power supply or adapter is an electrical device that acquires electricity from a network power supply and transforms it into a different current, frequency, and voltage. ACDC power supplies are compulsory to provide the power that an electrical component needs. So, what is the difference between AC and DC power supplies? Next. Di DC stands for direct current. It's the flow of electric charge in only one way direction, while alternating current, which is AC, is the flow of electric charge that periodically reverses direction. Next is I present about our product break background. The power supply industry dates back to the early 1920s when primitive devices were first developed to serve as B battery eliminators to power up electrical appliances such as radios in both the com commercial and consumer markets. A power supply is an electrical appliance that provides electric, electric capacity to power up an electrical circuit or load. The main function of a power supply is to transform electric current from a power source to the correct voltage, current and frequency to power the electrical circuit or load. How does an AC-DC power supply work? To power many devices in a building, you may require AC-DC power supplies. These units include transformers to change the voltage rectifiers to convert to DC power and a filter to remove some of the electronic noises from the high and low AC power waves. Ok, that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Abdul Rashid Dambi Abdaziz, holding a magic card number AN190126. Today I will be present about our objective and scope. Uh, for our project for objective student will be able to become familiar with the breadboard student will be able to build a full wave power supply student will be able to understand the component of a power supply that convert DC to AC student will be able to stack component in the distribution box correctly student will be identify database size and database selection based on consumption capacity Student will learn more to use 3D modeling in AutoCAD. Student will understand the basic tool and feature of 3D modeling in AutoCAD. And finally, to produce skilled student in using 3D modeling in AutoCAD. For the scope, uh, for introduction, product background and rectifier, one Mama Azim bin Walida Virus will uh, do the work. Uh, for objective, scope, conclusion and LED, uh, that was me. And for methodology and filter, Muhammad Shafiq bin Suhaimi. And for design process and voltage regulator, made by Muhammad Afizal Daniel bin Azmi. And for product design and transformer and him, uh, the person in charge for the uh, to assemble the drawing is Luma Kim bin Noor Hisham. Uh, 
Hello, my name is Muhammad Safiq bin Suhaimi. I will present our methodology project. Our objective of this methodology is to carry out the project related our project topic, which is the power supply AC to DC converter. And we will discuss about the project design, data collection, and the measurement and data analysis. Our project design, we found that the they are way to be doing more vertical in low cost. We are using breadboard to stack the component. And from here, we can see the output very current, which is the input is the alternating current. However, not everyone has access to this electronic device like the breadboard. So we choose other way to make the project look the real material by using 3D modeling. So from our data collection analysis, we using the main platform here from the internet to gain info about the concept operational AC DC converter and they have very much data that can be collect. And the 3D modeling view we had to visual it by using software. The software call is the AutoCAD software. And as we know, this software often used in any type of plan drawing. Either draw, the drawing in 3D or 2D format. As conclusion here, the our project 3D modeling can give uh, people an insight into the electronic device that use in the electronic device that's all um, our group member will present next slide hi assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Muhammad Hafiz Zodendian bin Azmi my metric number is AN190097 so I will explain about the design process we have six design process to com in order to complete our project. First is define the problem. Second, conduct research. Third is brainstorm and conceptualize. Fourth, create proposal. Fifth, drawing. And sixth, improve. So, uh, first is define the problem. The main goal of this project is to draw each component in ACDC power supplies. By doing this, students are able to identify the database size and database selection based on consumption capacity. To complete this project, students need to well known each part in ACDC power supplies such as transformers, rectifier, filter, voltage regulator, and LED. Students also have to familiar with AutoCAD application as a medium to complete the drawing in 3D. When the separate components are able to combine the pro to produce a product, then the success is measured or achieved. Second is conduct research. This project purpose is to give an early image about the product that will be created. Students make a lot of research about AC DC power supply in order to understand the basis and specific requirement of the product. Third is brainstorm and conceptualize. All groups members are needed to brainstorm and compare their ideas to decide the best feature of our product. We have to ensure all members understand the basic concept of AC-DC converter process and list down the components used in AC-DC system in order to separate, in order to operate AC-DC in correct way. Uh, fourth is correct propo create proposal. Groups members are given a specific task to complete the proposal. The proposal is used uh, first, the group members are given the different, different specific tasks in order to complete the proposal. For, uh, for an example, such like me, I'm doing uh, the, the 
the design process so the proposal is used to know the purpose of this project the proposal is submitted in order to improve our project and get permission to proceed with our next step sketching sketching is needed to understand the shapes or use for each component in ACDC system uh, next is drawing uh, produce the image of the ACDC power supply in 3D to analyze any error or fault during the drawing students need to draw each component separately and then combine the product combine the, the each component uh, last one is improve when the drawing is complete student was most certainly run across challenge with market marketability design or functioning during the process this is issues present chance for product innovation and expansion ensuring the product long-term success that's all from me thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh i'm lukman hakim and i will be presenting about our group product design practicality so this is a screenshot of few of our components that we use that we haven't assembly yet so the first one is rectifier so the length of the rectifier is 22.3 mm the width is 3.56 mm and the height is 18.8 mm so if you want to know it is the dimension only the top one that doesn't include the leg so the leg we use 20 mm so the next one is voltage regulator so the length of the voltage regulator is 10.4 mm the width is 15 mm and the height is 4.6 mm the leg we use 15 mm the next one is filter so for filter the diameter that we use is 16 mm and the height of the head is 26 mm for the leg they have different length so the short one I use 18 mm and the other one is 24 mm the last one is LED for LED the, the diameter is 5 mm the height of the head is 12 mm and the leg is 30 mm so this is our product after it has been assembled so you can see that here is our last component which is transformer so the length of the transformer is 50 mm the width is 60 mm and the height is 50 mm that's all Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Abdul Rashid Abi Abdul Aziz I will continue our presentation about our conclusion for this project uh, For conclusion In the conclusion, we will learn how to create a circuit to produce a full wave rectifier power supply and learn how it convert from alternative current to direct current Then, the student will be familiar with the breadboard and 3D modeling in the AutoCAD Finally, we will understand the basic tool and feature of 3D modeling in AutoCAD and will be and will produce top skill student that can conduct 3D modeling in AutoCAD. That's all from me. Uh,